good morning everyone today we'll uh, talk about a new tool from the sequence manipulation suite it's called reverse translate uh, this tool actually helped the nuclear biologist uh, in their uh, work by enabling them to be able to uh, reverse translate the protein to uh, a DNA uh, sequence. In previous episode, we, we just talked about uh, how to translate, uh, uh, predict to translate uh, a DNA to a protein. But here we uh, reverse translate the protein to a possible uh, DNA uh, sequence. And this tool, it's, uh, uh, it, uh, it can reverse translate and accept a protein sequence either in raw data or uh, in raw format or in uh, FASTA format and it's, it's very simple to use the Coton table uh, generate uh, to generate a DNA sequence of course it can predict uh, uh, it can uh, it can predict many possible reading uh, frame of the of the same uh, protein so actually it's uh, it just pick up the consensus sequence derived from all the possible codon for each amino acid uh, uh, that have been uh, applied. Using this reverse translate, as we say, it's, it's very helpful to design PCR primer uh, to be able to anneal to a unsequenced codon uh, sequence, uh, coding sequence for a related species. So if we would like to know the, our isolate the gene of known protein and we don't know the protein, uh, the, the DNA sequence to design the primers, this tool actually will help us to predict the, the DNA, possible DNA sequence of this protein so we can use it to to design PCR primer to isolate it through the PCR. Uh, this is uh, the uh, interface of this program. It's very easy. You can submit here in this submission box. You can submit your DNA uh, protein sequence uh, by either raw format or FASTA format and just click submit and uh, the here in the program it uses for example in this example we can see that it uses the equali uh, codon uh, table but if you would like to change this and and choose other coding table you can press here in the codon usage database and and you can pick up whatever codon uses table that you would like to uh, use for example you can uh, use any organism uh, other codon table from from any organism for example you can use homo sapien or uh, any 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 whatever codon table you would like to use just write here uh, the latin name of the organism and it will pick up uh, the table of the of this specific organism after that you can submit of course and uh, your sequence and the uh, the program will return back to you uh, the predicted uh, dna sequence of this uh, of, of this uh, protein and based on that you can also you can design your uh, primers uh, just to try to use the pcr after that and uh, try to pick up uh, the, this, the possible gene of uh, that uh, produce this kind of protein it's a very useful tool and very easy to use and it's it's answer a lot of biological questions for uh, for the molecular biologist and it's very easy to use uh, I hope you can enjoy this uh, episode and I also I would like uh, to thank all of you for hearing this episode and I hope you can follow us and um, and YouTube to see more and more tools uh, very very useful tools in bioinformatics I uh, wish you all the best in your research and try to follow us and subscribe to the channel to see more and other videos on bioinformatics thank you very much and see you in other videos goodbye